Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. You about some of the stuff that I seen, I think it was on Spliff's page. You you're on there a lot. That guy. Uh, anyway. Yeah, that guy, man. <laughs> Spliff Jesus. That's that guy, I, I want to know about, uh, uh, it was a thing I read uh, or heard that you had uh, something with, took half a million dollars from Suge Knight or something. What was that? What see, was that? I want to hear about that. That's see, why it's on the internet. I'm looking at what I'm looking at. Hey, see, I need an answer for this. Hey, see, this is what I'm saying. This is why I say they internet. don't let Body Hunter BJ Bro, I, that's the stuff that popped. The, 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 the stuff that I'm looking at. I watched at. it, bro. I pushed, I pushed the button, right? And I say, put in the information for, uh, I didn't know your name was Nino <laughs> Cappuccino. I said, BJ the Bounty Hunter, baby, let's get this information. He come into town and I split pop up, boom, horns or something. I said, damn. I said, damn. There it is. Okay, I, all right, I got to ask him about this. So he did what with the world class wrecking crew? Damn. You know, this nigga busy. Yeah, that's what I, I'm I, nigga, I didn't even know hey, the nigga was even. That's, that's I was mad because the nigga jumped on me. Supreme had called me. I say, no, nah, I don't know if I want that cat. He don't know nobody. <laughs> <laughs> but then when I look, I say, oh, hell, I got me something here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so was that a real thing? I didn't look at it because I wanted to get it from you. All right, man. Let me lay you. Let's break it down. Let me lay you. Check this out, man. Again, because I tell this, I tell, and it's not a story. It's my livelihood. Like yeah. I tell it, what separates me from Castle was in that these are my real, true livelihoods. What I went through, what I live, man. You feel me? I met Simon, who ended up becoming a good dear friend slash business partner of mine for twenty some years now. Right? Okay. I met him on a negative level, Simon. A.K. Suge Knight. Marion. That's the world knows. Suge, Suge yeah. Marion Knight is A.K. Yeah. Simon. Simon Says. Yeah. That's where he got his death row nickname from. Simon Says. When Simon Says, go. He tell them niggas go, they going. You feel me? Well, I wasn't one of them go niggas. You feel me? I'm a nigga that make niggas go. Free the homie. Me? So, yeah, free the homie Simon, man. So, check this out. The way I met him was I was summoned to a meeting from other generals. You feel me? Big homies. Terry Carter, rest in peace. You feel me? Uncle Mike, you know what I mean? I was summoned to around Terry, Terry Moses? No, Terry Carter. Carter. Terry Moses is my big homie, though. That's your big homie yeah. from Bonnie Hunter. Yeah. They wrote the book. Yeah, I'm yeah. in the book. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> I um, I was summoned to this meeting. Me and Rat Dog, Willie Dog, A.K. Rat Dog, rest in peace. You know what I mean? My, my, my partner in crime, my road dog, everything. We summoned to this meeting, so... Me having a broad mind again, like I do, and that's why they brought me to the meeting. Because they know... It's A1, he a torpedo. Two, he 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 on point and he's smart about it. So if we send him and he go, he gonna go right. He ain't gonna go with the bullshit. He gonna make everything work. This is why I was bought in. Big homies bought me in, laced me. Yeah, you know this nigga Simon Sugar sure one? Yeah, I heard a nigga, man. I heard a fat boy, man. He football player slash did a few bounces for Bobby Brown. I mean, what about the nigga? Well, look, man, we gonna show you niggas how to build your own production company and I'll I, I, get you niggas out the street. Legitimate. Now, at this time, I'm already going through a stage with my life where what can I do to take this this damn dirty money, man, and really get myself up out this situation? Because I'm I'm sitting on at least a meal ticket, man, up out the streets, dirty. And I just put the peace treaty together in 1992 with other cats collectively out to Jordan Downs, Pure Course, High Sierra Village. So I'm one of the advocates to represent the Damusha from this peace treaty. So I'm now I'm torn between, like I said, a part of me still BJ in the streets, and then I'm developing this Nino Cappuccino characteristics. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, but Nino is overpowering BJ. So I'm battling these alter egos, bro. Cause soon my phone rang, I'm out in the street, I'm 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 in it. Blah, I'm, and then I'm in a motherfucking meeting, man, two days later. You know what I'm saying? So I had to really tell myself, wait, You nah. can really see how the foundation of that kind of behavior le leads up to people like the Nipsies of the world and people like exactly, that. Exactly, bro. You can just see how and, that. And, he, and, and, and it's, it's crazy you spoke on that. We'd go back on it and reiterate mm -hmm. on it. He was in his stage where he was building that to where it would have pulled him away from eventually collectively because he didn't have to be there. I, he built that already. He ain't had no business there, and he didn't have to be there. But it was the foundation of the family of it, the community. He doing the same you know thing saying? I'm doing here, right? The exact mm -hmm. same. Right. That's right. why I went to his store. But yeah, you got to remember of, though. Because jealousy, of that. envy, all these things play a part, bro. Niggas. Yeah, they I don't got it. You yeah, yeah. don't got it because you want to get your ass to go get it. it. Ain't my fault. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, so again, taking us back, my introduction to him was I come to this meeting. And, you know, find out, okay, this is what it's going to be. So now I go to work. 
a big brawl jumps out with the West Side Public. And, and my thing was what I really, what really, really got me involved and got me on him was when he brought about the separation with the power rules. Because I'm a, like I said, I'm a real Damu, bro. I'm a real blood from Nixon Garden. And I love my homies from Six Deuce Brands, the Pyro, Swans. I got homies from all over, bro. I, I, I was one of them niggas out of my projects, was able to bring niggas from these other hoods and bridge them gaps and bring them to our hood because niggas wouldn't come to our hood and fuck with us, man. We A number one in Los Angeles when it comes to the blood situation, bro. Not trying to boast and brag on but giving facts. And can't no nigga battle that. That's what it was. Pyro's was the original, the originated B Dogs before us. But when we. Put this shit down. That was the element that we built out them projects, man. Nothing but fear. And that was for every motherfucking body. Period. You know what I'm saying? So that character, bringing that character involved to this situation is what brought me about to smash on it. So me smashing on him and taking a half a million, we end up getting a, a record deal. You know what I mean? A production deal. How'd you take the half a million? How'd you articulate that? You pretty sure. Well, I mean, it's, it's simple. Chess. <laughs> I'm trying to get in there. This, this media game, I'm, I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm trying to get in Articulate there. Articulate that. Say yeah. word for word how you done took this bread yeah, from this. Yeah, I want to know. Feared. It's well, gone a long time. Look, that nigga was in the, on the movie. I mean, on, uh, hey, man, come to Death Row. I'm there. I'm like, well, how you going to get that money out of him? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, that's the thing about it. Y'all seen that. Remember, y'all got it. Remember my analogy. I'm taking y'all back to the fucking coin, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm that nigga on the other side of the coin, homie. Yeah, yeah. you seen Suge, but you didn't see Bonnie and the BJ. Yeah, you yeah, didn't know yeah. nothing about Bonnie and the yeah. Rap Dog. You know, all the rest. Yeah, you seen Suge. But you I didn't know, know about them Bonnie Hunters who was smashed on his ass. Not just Bonnie and the BJ. He got hit two times by the Bonnie Hunters. How about that? See, yeah. y'all didn't see that because it wasn't publicized. That's right. That's right. right. He, he, we didn't also, give a fuck about Suge. He also did some aspect. unthinkable great shit. By building a great company, you oh, gonna wait, go wait, through some wait, shit. Wait, 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 wait. You, you yeah. ask, you ask me I the know. negative. Yeah. I'm I'm out. Out. See, one thing about me when I talk, that's my, that's my ninja. That's my homeboy. Right. You feel me? I ain't against the grain with the nigga. Yeah. We no want him. What, we want him free out he, here. He we did, want him out. Look, he did wrong shit, bro. Yeah. He's no different than any other human being, man. Yes, yeah, for sure. You feel me? He did wrong shit, but nigga, I know for a fact the greatness he did because I was with him. I was around him. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, that's why I always give him his props. I don't. I don't get on here and brag and boast about this shit. I'm y'all ask me the question. People I'm want, giving you, you know, the story. They, but, but you gotta right? understand, so, so half a million, out. half a million wasn't a lot of money really to him during this time. No, half a million, no, a lot of money. No, no, Who no. Lose it? No, you don't want to lose. But this guy was dealing with a lot of money during this time. Am I right? It's not about them. See, here's the whole thing. It ain't about for me and for us. It's not about the half a million. Correct. It's who you took the half a million from. from. I get it. I don't give a fuck about to have me. Now, I've been getting money. Feel me? I bust real niggas upside their head and take their money. Mm -hmm. So it ain't about the half a million. It's about who got the half a million. Oh, this the nigga that took 20 million from these niggas over here? Let's go get in that nigga pocket. Yeah. It was the challenge for us. That was you what I'm saying. The thrill of the take. From. Yeah. The thrill of the take. And you nigga. took it. Took it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.